All right, we're back at it again here on the conquest, and we're gonna we're gonna be far fetched and hope we can start it today, but we're dreamers, so. Um, but yeah, he's putting on some nipples. He's playing with some nipples over here. Got him. Got him with the jokes. And uh, yeah, so we just like ran to O'Reilly's. I picked up some vacuum line for my car. Um, I'm just hoarding parts right now at this time. I got brake, my brake line, my oil. For like next oil change and uh and then the vacuum line um but yeah so uh you know he's just blocking off those because they didn't have any freaking plugs so uh all they had was uh america sae yeah, so they only had sae didn't have metric and uh yeah so we're gonna probably try and get the rest of this all of that. Trying to get all that wired up. I know we got to run a uh, power wire to the um, back. Um, we got wire in some sort of switch setup. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, we got a lot. We got to do relays for the so. um, the fuel pump and starter. Those are the big ones for us to try and start it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so let's see what we can get done. You got the... Alright, so this is where we're at. It's mounted up there, grounded here, um, kind of all loomed. We got like the vacuum line that goes onto the uh, mega squirt ran to here on this side. Um, it's probably how we're going to run it. Uh, as we've been doing this, we're kind of come to the conclusion that we're probably just going to redo the wiring next year or like next winter, or maybe if we have the time this year, we'll redo it or whatever. Um, just to confirm everything works and everything like that. And then we also have to do more wiring for the Mega Squirt to wire in like uh, boost by gear and two step and launch, all the launch controls and shit. So yeah, but he's wiring in the switch panel right now. Um, but yeah, and then uh, we have the, there's a starter wire ran all the way through to the back. And then he's going to have a, uh, like right here, we're going to put the center console there and we're going to hide the, um, he's got one of these fancy things, so that way he's got a key for it. You can just take this sucker off, so that'll be nice. Um, but yeah, so far that's what we got. Starter wires ran and, uh, and pretty much routed all that stuff. Um, figured out the last couple of things, the alternator wasn't hooked up yet. We got that all figured out now. Um, and then, oh yeah, we still got to run a couple more sensors. O2 sensor, uh, intake air temperature. What was the other one? Fuel pump. And fuel pump, like the fu fuel pump trigger. So, oh yeah, and then power to the um, Mega Squirt. So, oh yeah, we'll keep going here. So, we got all this wired in. It's, you know, pretty much temporarily done. Uh, we just wired up the fuel pump. We're going to test to see if the fuel pump works. So, the this guy will be it. You know, in theory, I put power here. No, it's off. That one, that one, there's no power to that one. So, how would it turn on then? Is it? Oh fuck! It turns on with the mega squirt, uh, so we can't really test it. Dang it! I forgot that. Be 
All right, so I figured it out. Um, I'll go look at it. Um, so basically, on this switch here, the bottom, which is the off, has the 12 volts constant. And then the on position is going to the ignition. I'll just have them switched around. And then uh, the this guy gets grounded to here. So that way, like, when the switch would be on, it will it'll light up because there's like a little light right here so but we're gonna wire that up after we get back from foods because paul's dying of starvation literally dead and uh so yeah and then uh once we come back then we'll see if paul's brave enough to plug in a mega squirt and then then in theory the fuel pump will kick on because uh basically how it's wired is there's a a, a wire that goes from here and it's wired into the mega squirt up there so it acts like the fierros where i have it wired to the ecm and then the ecm goes to the fuel pump so that way when you turn on the ignition it turns on the ecm then it turns on the uh, fuel pump so it starts like because uh like when you start up your car or like when you put your key in the ignition it, you'll hear the fuel pump turn on and then it kicks off once it's up the pressure is ultimately what this thing should in theory be doing so yeah let's uh go grab some foods and uh come back and hopefully do some work all right we're back from food we just made up this little guy here um where it's just we're just looming it right now we'll run it across there again we already got one ran well it's just two ran already but uh what's it what's a third um so so yeah, we'll get these ran up there just so that way there's already power wires ran back here so it's super easy to, you know, wire it up because I know we're going to need more stuff for up there. But uh, yeah, let's uh, just keep going here. do it's like a million degrees in here all right so we got this all kind of taken care of it looks like a goddamn rat's nest but at least the uh, this looks good the part that i could reach i let paul over there and it just goes to shit please so yeah but we're filling up the transmission right now so when we go to try and i guess we're going to try and say start it and uh We'll see. See if the mega square game turns on. Yeah, we gotta pretty much just turn on the ignition, see what mega square does, and then we'll determine whether we're gonna actually try and uh, start it or not. Um, at least in the aspect of just kind of trying to hear it fire a little bit. Um, but yeah. For the first time ever. Just watching see that poor technique on point. I thought you were saying poor technique like um I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that garbage technique. Look at that poor poor can yeah, I can't even say it now. That poor poor pouring technique. Yeah, that made no sense. Hey, Too far! Don't quit your day job. I'm gonna be a community comedian. But uh yeah, so we got um we have power ran to the accessory one, two, and three switch. Starter's wired up. Um, we wired up the this switch now that it when it's on, it lights up. Super fancy. Kind of jelly. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, there's, like, terminal buses galore up here. Um, but, yeah. Then we just got to tuck up that wire. And, uh, yeah, the Mega Squirt's going to sit over here inside the um, glove box. So that should be pretty neato bandito, so that way we got some nice access to it. Um, well, yeah. And, like, that back there, we can go back and look at that. Well, while Paul figures out how to open up the bottle. So I got to be precise. Precision. 
Um, but yeah. So we got this all kind of ran back here. Didn't even use. We only used one relay. Um, I guess full send. And then, uh, yeah. So that's how she turned out in the front. I got them all labeled on top of there with just like Sharpie. But yeah. Pretty soon we'll be just doing some starting here. But we'll continue on. Just uh, trying to finish and just clean up a little bit of stuff. Make sure we're all good and double check everything so we can start it and not have an issue. So, let's... Paul's words, we better see if something works before we, uh, what was your words? Crazy. Before we get crazy. So uh, he's gonna flip the ignition switch. Ignition switch should put on the rear lights. So look at that. Gee dang it. They on and the light comes on. The light comes on and then when he flips it off, light goes off. Look at that, those lights are off too. Pretty freaking baller. And then just because it looks freaking awesome, we'll open this. Oh yeah, the third brake uh, interior light. It's like uh, got the white light for when this thing opens back here, like this. And then the brake switch also makes that thing turn red. So it's pretty baller. Spent like five days wiring up a stupid third brake light. So uh, it was worth it in the end. Yes, it was definitely worth it. It turned out pretty badass. So uh, Paul's trying to find a pump because he wants to prime the engine with oil. And then we will uh, give her a, a turnover and hopefully she works. First we gotta mess with the mega squirt. Yeah, we also gotta plug in the mega squirt and make sure. In theory, when we plug the mega squirt in, I think the fuel pump will work, but I don't know if it has to be programmed or whatnot. So, but we'll find out. So uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, so we got this all ran. Um, and we just, we only got two more wires to hook up. Uh, the intake air temperature sensor and the O2 sensor still. But uh, for purpose, our purposes, we should be fine. And then uh, Paul's up here. Uh, shut off this camera, blind it. And uh, he's up here like, he's got like this fitting here, I guess. And he's pumping uh, the oil up in there. And he just had uh, uh, one of my moments. And when he was pumping it, uh, the first problem is he forgot the oil oil filter. But I guess that's a new one. I've forgotten the drain plug before, but but this is a whole other story. We're building a fucking motor from scratch. And then he's dripping oil. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, you can see it. Oh, dude, I really hope we can fit a fucking bolt in there. You should be able to. Just need a short one. I got short ones, I think. I one. uh, Those threads look like dog shit, too. That's so weird. There's like an Allen head right there, too. Dude, you could just do your turbo feed or your oil feed right off of that. Yeah, could have. Probably, but except for the fact you can't fit a AM line there. Actually, yeah, you could probably, if you did, like, one of your brass 90s, but... That's for another day. But, uh, that'd be cool to do it right off there, but... But, yeah, so that's where we're sitting so far. Just gonna figure out all this oil crap, and then, uh... Find all the freaking leaks. Yeah, find all the leaks, and then hopefully when we start his, there is no fucking leaks between the motor and the trans. There shouldn't be, but... You look, this one kind of fits. I'm kind of feeling like the machinists. They're like, oh, these guys don't know what the fuck they're doing. Let's pull a plug randomly. Because... We did your... Yeah, your block went in. Both your block and head went in. Yeah, so I'm, it's, it's probably one missing in the block. Yeah, it's, it, it, probably. Yep. So, yeah, that's how uh, we're going so far. But it's still been a really good day. The car's pretty much wired. The only thing we'll have left to wire will be, like... Wipers, the windows, headlights, you know, just like the basics. And then, like, gauges. Yeah. There's still a ways to go, but at least today will be, a, hopefully, a good hump to get over, just like in the Fiero. 
it's one of those good humps and since we're like we're at like what was it like 67 days or whatever till automotion yeah something like that so we're counting down to automotion so that's our the first one we're shooting to be there for and we should be we should be fine worst case scenario uh we'll just tow both of them into town <laughs> we'll we'll get we'll Big rent green. yeah we'll just rent uh i'll you just have to rent a u-haul truck and uh a trailer and then i'll just rent a trailer and we'll just pull them around town Sweet. be like they're they'll be like wow those cars must be fast because they're being trailered and then we'll be like right, yep right. you got that right got so yeah let's uh keep going Whoop. All right, so, um, did you unplug the battery? I didn't do nothing. If we undo the t the ground, it should be good, right? Right? No. You have to do the fucking positive? Well, yeah. You'd still get power if it wasn't... No. If this isn't grounded? Doesn't matter, they're both fucking tightened. <laughs> <laughs> of course they're both fucking tightened. Huh? The what? The map sensor! Tubing. Um, we need... The... Oh wait, no, I was right. It was like a fucking... Where the fuck... Oh, you grabbed the... God, you... What? You screwed me good, Paul! Yeah, me good! Totally just yelled the end of the camera. Hope you weren't wearing headphones. Because <laughs> that would have sucked. That'd be a real shame. Sure. Sure would be a shame if I just yelled real loud. <laughs> I promise. I will never do that again. Right now. Maybe maybe one more time. There the Alright, there's that. Now I'll give it a little a little one, two. Hold on, I gotta get the money shot. Get the money shot. I'll figure out where you go first. Oh Jesus. There went the money shot. <laughs> Ruined it. I think my hands are oily, so I can't turn these. <laughs> Only need one, I guess. Uh, real mature. Don't forget your little vacuum. I did. You. did you? You didn't even cut it short. No. <laughs> I plugged it in. I clean up all these wires and you you don't even oh my god. Can we just take a moment to see how I managed to clean up this disaster? I need somewhere to set this. <laughs> the ground? Like a turbo. No, it's too short. Huh. It's weird how nature does that. That's weird. I feel like I told you to extend those wires and you're like, no, it'll be fine. You're the one that added the other one. Just hang it up here. No! It's not. Give it a little, like a Christmas tree. Okay. Is it good? Sure. You ready? Lower it up. Let me know when it starts smoking, because it's fucked at that point. <sighs> you ready? Yep. Mike, this is like $200 and like, probably like eight hours of soldering. Damn, that was really anticlimactic, except for the light that came shining in my eyes. <laughs> Do you even have your tablet? I got my laptop. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm say. Well, uh, now, in theory, if you flip that switch... Damn, that was really dramatic. I tried. Ready? <laughs> we should hear a fuel pump. Maybe. Nope. So do I push the button? Mm, it'll it should turn out. Hold on. Let me step on the clutch. Oh yeah. Ready? Uh, yep. Uh, something just sparked. It was up there. Huh? That was that. <laughs> Damn. That was super. Anti-climatic. All right, let's figure out what happened. All right, let's go problem solve. So yeah, we'll be back once we figure out this. All 
All right. Did you plug that sensor back in? The starter? Yeah. Okay. It is on. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! We're doing stuff now. Gee dang it! <laughs> it turned to like a quarter of the way. So it's a big deal. I got it on camera too. Uh, and then I yelled in their ear again. <laughs> you said you it's like the third time in this video. Might as well see if the button works. What button? Uh, start. <laughs> yep. <But>. <laughs> give it, give it, give it a little bit more. <laughs> yes. Yes! He yelled in their ear again even when you don't have that switch on. Yeah, that's that's fine. Well, it won't run. Oh, yeah, it'll just turn over then. I don't think so. I think as soon as you light off the button, it would stop. But either way. Yeah, it wouldn't start running because the injectors aren't going. All right, so now it's doing that. We're going to go plug in the Mega Squirt and see if it's reading again. Because uh, our dumb asses, uh, you got to ground the block. It's like a thing you got to do. It's not a question. So... This is a really rookie mistake, because we're like, it's not fucking starting. And then, like, before I started getting too crazy, I was like, fuck, ground, because I, I think I've done this before. I'm the fear. I feel like I did it before. I don't remember. Or, it, I don't know, it causes issues, because my Fiero has... It's grounded. There's a ground battery strap, or there's a, a, a wire that comes all the way from my negative all the way up to the motor... And then I've also have it, the battery grounded to the chassis, the motor's grounded to the chassis, all the grounds, <laughs> and all the positives. So, all right, let's uh, we'll turn on the GoPro again here, and hopefully the Mega Squirt works. So let's keep going. All right, so we're in here. Mega Squirt's not wanting to uh, connect up to, or his laptop and the Mega Squirt aren't talking yet. So uh, we're probably just gonna end it here, um, and we'll just continue to dig around with this. And hopefully, in the next video uh, or a future video, obviously you will be seeing this thing start up and run for at least a couple seconds um, until we finish up all the cooling and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so today was pretty good. We got the, the you know turn over and stuff. Um, now we just got to deal with all the mega squirt crap. And uh, yeah, we got all that crap wired up. So yeah, that's awesome. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Woo -woo 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 -woo